Hi, this is Benjamin, founder of Farm Again. A farmer must have been the first businessman on earth. They must have traded uh, you know, food uh, for something else. So that should have been the early business that happened in this world. But today's farmers, especially uh, in our uh, region, uh, are they really behaving like a businessman? Do they look at profit and loss? It has happened to a large extent in Western countries. And even within uh, India, um, large farms obviously have uh, migrated themselves into, uh, uh, into running the farms as business. They look at profit and loss, but the smaller ones, the marginal farmers, are they really looking at profit and loss? Or are they leaving it to fate, leaving the income to fate, not really planning that very well? So this question was lingering in my mind for quite some time. So I thought we will post a few videos uh, especially focusing on how do you improve productivity, how do you improve revenue, therefore improve profitability. So that's the context in which we will shoot a few uh, videos and post in the near future. And uh, first of its series, we are now in Polachi, a farm that has been very cleverly intercropped with uh, several other crops in, uh, in between coconut. So I just wanted to show you that, walk you through how you can transform your farm into just a coconut uh, cluster into a highly profitable venture. So in one acre of uh, coconut farm, let's say there are 70 trees and assuming each tree gives you an average uh, annual yield of about 100 nuts. By the way, the official records uh, indicate that the average yield per tree per year is in the range of about 70 to 80, right? So 100 nuts and if you consider an average uh, price across the year as uh, 15 rupees per nut, we are talking about a revenue per acre of around 1 lakh rupees. Now, if I adopt modern methods, precision methods, and improve my productivity, let's say I make it 200. What revenue am I looking at? It's about 2 lakhs per acre. Now, by improving the productivity, while I can increase the yield and therefore the revenue, there is also a cost associated to it. Let's say fertilizers and other uh, cost associated with uh, coconut growing. So I may be looking at a net profit per acre of around 50-60,000 rupees, right? Now, the whole idea is how do I increase my revenue from 1 lakh, 2 lakhs to several lakhs more than that so that my uh, profit and loss account, the, the, the revenue increases and my cost comes down, therefore I turn profitable. So that's the whole idea with which we are going to shoot the next couple of videos. So what are the possible crops that we can think of as intercrop within a coconut farm? One, as you can see right behind my back, uh, nutmeg is one option. Cocoa is another option. You can also think of jackfruit. You can think of uh, pepper. You can think of arecanut, banana. And uh, these days, uh, there are even people trying um, avocado as an intercrop in coconuts. I'm yet to see uh, the success uh, rates in avocado, but the rest of the crops, we can actually talk a little about their economics. And again, I'm going to strictly talk only about the economics for this video because the whole purpose is to sensitize people that there is more economy left uh, when you go beyond coconut. But if you're interested in going for these kinds of intercrops, please do contact us and we can uh, talk in detail about the technicalities, how do you do, all that we can talk about in detail. So let's talk about nutmeg to start with. Um, Ideally, you would have about 70 to 75 trees in a acre. So, I mean, or in other words, as many coconut trees uh, as you have, you'll have equivalent number of uh, nutmegs. Now, there are two types of uh, uh, plants you get. One uh, propagated uh, through the seeds, the other budding. And we all know budding and grafted gives you a much better yield. Also, they come to yield much faster. Like the budded ones might uh, come to yield in about two and a half, three years. I mean the starting stage and uh, four, five, seven years, they can start giving you a revenue of, of about two and a half, three lakhs. And uh, when it crosses about 10 years, uh, in fact, there are people I know who get a revenue of about 10 lakhs to 15 lakhs. Now, even if you don't dream that high, even if you consider, let's say, five lakhs to six lakhs as a probable income, we are talking about multiplication of uh, regular revenue that you would get from a uh, coconut farm. So the second crop we're going to look at is uh, cocoa. Um, I'm actually standing right uh, in front of that. Um, this, uh, the, the configuration of this would be somewhere between 
uh, you know, 60 by 70 trees per acre all the way to 225 uh, trees per acre. It depends on uh, whether you plant, uh, you know, between two trees or uh, uh, between four, um, you know, depending on that. And uh, that again depends on the climatic condition of that particular location. So you, you have to really consider a lot of factors before deciding the exact number of uh, trees. And again, uh, even in cocoa, uh, you have both uh, the, the plants that are propagated from the seeds and uh, uh, the budded ones. So the, obviously the budded ones give you better income, better revenue, therefore better income. And if you look at the revenue uh, point, uh, side of uh, cocoa, it is almost similar to coconut. So if you're making X uh, uh, rupees with the coconut, maybe you're going to make 2X of that on, on an average in regular time. Sometimes, like the current period, uh, there, is a, there is a spike because of shortage in a few countries and therefore you, get, you probably make uh, better revenue, but on an average it is going to be similar to coconut. Uh, the third crop, uh, let us look at uh, arachnid. Uh, per acre, you can plant around 670 to 680 plants. If you do intercropping between coconut trees, then you are talking about around 600 in an acre. Now, uh, around three, four years old uh, uh, trees uh, or slightly older go for around three to five lakhs per acre as lease amount. The money is given by the traders and they come pluck and uh, you know give you that money. So th this is the other option as an intercrop within a coconut farm. So the next, the fourth, you can look at pepper as an option. In fact, pepper can also be trained on the arachnid. That's one option. The other option is to uh, again look at the climatic condition, the, the structure of your farm and uh, identify the right spacing and accordingly you can grow some supporting trees and on that you can train pepper. The typical income from an acre uh, uh, from pepper would be in the range of around 3 to 5 lakhs per year. The fifth, let's look at jackfruit as an option. Now, there are so many varieties of jackfruit, both locally and the most famous ones these days are coming from Vietnam. Even the local ones are extremely sweet. The most popular happens to be uh, the Pandruti variety which is in Tamil Nadu, right? Now, how many trees do you plant? Which variety do you choose? It all depends on the climatic condition. One has to really, really study and take that decision. And per year, even this fruit has the ability and the potential to give you about 2 to 3 lakhs additional income in your coconut farm. The next, let's look at banana as an option, as an intercropping option. If you are planting coconuts fresh, uh, farming a new place, then the first maybe a year two, you can actually have uh, bananas in intercrop, and they can uh, you, you can you can just grow them just like a plain banana farm where there was no coconut, right? And once the coconuts have grown up, and again you can continue to grow banana. There are successful uh, case studies of that uh, that kind. Um, you can continue to have banana. The only thing is. Because you have coconuts, the number of banana trees may be lesser than otherwise. That's the only difference. Uh, that is going to give you a good income. The other option even within banana is that there are some people who grow only for leaves because in the southern part of India, the banana leaves have got a great commercial value. right? So in any case, uh, the banana, whether you go with uh, fruits or leaves, the income range uh, could be anywhere between a lakh and about four lakhs from one acre. So the banana economy is like this. You can target somewhere around a lakh from acre to about uh, three, four lakhs an acre. Why there is such a wide uh, gap? Because uh, you're talking about uh, a banana leaf and even in fruits, you have red, uh, you know, there are so many varieties and different varieties give you different pricing at different point in time. Therefore, in banana, often you, you get to see this kind of a wide range of income. So avocado, all of us know it is a very, very profitable crop. There is a good demand globally for avocado. And to use that as an intercrop within a coconut farm, there are trials going on. At this point in time, there is no established uh, uh, theory or, or a study to suggest you have to go with these many number of trees in a coconut farm. And also we don't exactly know the revenue and profit, the, the potential revenue and profit of uh, avocado within a coconut farm. Uh, but if someone wants to explore, maybe in a small place, in an acre, two, I would encourage, please go ahead and try it. We talked about six, seven crops today as uh, possible options uh, for intercropping within a coconut farm. So once you have decided what plants to go with, then you must um, take care of the irrigation part. Now, there are farmers who have this question. I, have, I already have less water. How do I manage? 
which is where technologies like Grotron come handy because uh, we use sensors to uh, study the soil pattern, the wetness pattern and irrigate very, very optimally so that your, the, the water you have can be equally distributed and used very, very efficiently and you can grow more crops in a place where you had less crops with uh, technologies like Grotron. So the motto is to increase the revenue per acre in any coconut farm. And I hope this video was useful to you and I'm sure it will be useful to your friends as well. Please do share this with your friends. And we're going to shoot and publish more videos in the same series of increasing productivity. And if you would like to get notified about that in advance, uh, please do subscribe. And until we meet again in another video, see you. Thank you.